Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dylan Ray again, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm pretty excited about this episode today because we're gonna be creating the 3D models that we're gonna use for our augmented reality game. And if you remember from last time, we described four different objects that we're gonna need to create the game. And three of them were explosive devices, and the last one was basically the walls that we're gonna be using to construct our buildings. So let's actually get into a Unity and I'll walk you through all the tools that we're gonna use for this episode, as well as the 3D modeling piece. Here we are in Unity and I open up the project that we created last time. I'm actually looking at the focus square scene that Unity. So go ahead and open that up. Once you have it open, you'll, you'll see this cube. And the first thing that I wanna do is I want you to check, click on Window, Package Manager, and check and see that you have Pro Builder configure and install, and then the same thing with Pro Grids. If you haven't installed those, just click on All, and you can find them in this list and install them. Same thing with Pro Grids. So let's close that up. And if you don't see these two windows, or you might see this one but not this one, just click on Tools. Pro Builder and then click on Pro Builder window and it'll open it up and then you can snap it in any, basically in any place where you prefer. Okay, so when, when you're done with that, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be modeling the dynamites. So if we look at this cube, it's currently 0 0.3058 and that's about half of, a little bit less than half of or maximum size, which was gonna be 0.7, which is fine and we can use that as a reference. So right now, let's see, so let's actually create a new shape and select cylinder and that's good. And I'm actually gonna change the height of this, let's see. Oh, high segments is what I wanted to do. And it's going to... Doesn't, it doesn't show as the segments. It's okay, that's, let's actually set it to four. And then build cylinder. And now you can see the segments were added. That's perfect. Okay, so let's close it. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna position this on the, on the zero basically zero, zero, zero on X, Y, Z. And I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees on Z. And that's right, right about there. The next thing that I wanna do, we're using Pro Grids, but the grid is pretty large. So I'm gonna hold Control minus a couple of times so that we can get to 0.125. If that didn't work, you can click on that number and basically type the value in the Pro Grid settings. So I'm gonna close that up. And I'm gonna focus, let's see, on renaming this correctly. So I'm gonna rename this to Dynamite. I'm also gonna create a new empty game object. Actually, let's not place it inside, let's place it outside. This one is gonna call Dynamite Group. And we're going to place the Dynamite inside of the parent. And Let's see, so let's rotate it. Let's actually do this. Rotate this back. We want the parent to, to be clean, to have everything at zero, zero, zero. The dynamite should be the one that is rotated. The reason for that is because I want the parent to control all the transformations on the child's. So now let's go to, let's go to from view. And I'm gonna duplicate this twice. I'm gonna place this. Let's actually go to auto graphic view. And right about there. And we can grab that one as well. And the same thing, let's duplicate, let's select the, both of them on the sides. And duplicate them as well. And right about there. I'm gonna move this in a tiny bit. Move that one in. And I want him to touch the bottom. So let's move him down. Um, right about there, that's perfect. Let's actually go back to perspective. 
and there are that's our dynamites and let's rename the duplicates okay and the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically create our prefab folder so I'm gonna call these prefabs and I'm also gonna create the materials folder and since we're on it I'm gonna create the material for the dynamite and that's gonna be something like that it doesn't need to be perfect and I'm gonna basically associate it with each one of the dynamites uh, let's actually change this tiny bit a little bit more red there we go we don't need any smoothness okay so that's perfect then we need to be able to light it so we're gonna let's actually duplicate let's actually duplicate just one so I'm gonna select this one and oops and resize it a little bit so that we can light it right about let's actually make it a tiny bit smaller let's go bigger all right I think that looks maybe too big Okay, and now I'm gonna duplicate it one more time. I'm gonna place it on the other dynamite. So by the way, when you're when you're modeling in Pro Builder and you make any changes, you see that you, we lost the material. That's okay. That's basically so that we can have this UV texture so that we can like align things. So like if you look at this texture, it has kind of a cross. On, on the front of the face so that's actually helpful because we needed to place have these ones in place we can assign the materials right after okay so that's that's good right there and I'm going to I'm gonna go in a little bit and I'm going to select the say it's actually yeah let's actually go to ver vertices mode and I'm going to select some of these vertices and let's see let's actually start with that one go inside the other thing that we can do too that it will be actually better if we go to edge mode and select the edge and click on select edge loop that's gonna make it easier for us to select and I want to move this one so just a tiny bit I'm gonna do the same thing with that one and right about there same thing with that one it looks like we're missing on this one we're gonna have to select all the vertices because it's missing the center that's okay I can select that one that one and that one and basically go up rotate it a little bit go back and I'm I'm not 100% happy <laughs> just yet that's that's fine that, that looks fine let's just actually go in and make some changes to this one so this one I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna go back to edge selection I'm actually gonna go back a little bit more we want this to be different so I'm gonna select the edge loop go back a little bit and that's that's fine there do the same thing on this other edge let's actually go down just to give it a different a different look and do the same thing on this one Let's, see, let's go down and the same thing on this one and for the last one we're gonna select the vertices ok 
Just rotate it a tiny bit. That's fine. I just don't want him to look exactly the same because then, you know, the game won't look good if, if they're exactly the same. And this one is not quite a bit right just yet. So let's select the edge right there and do stinking right about there and then go back to this one. Select edge loop. Oops, so that didn't happen right there. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm okay with that. That's perfect. We can adjust it as we go. And I'm gonna rename these two. And I'm just gonna call it lighter. They need to be just, just unique names. And I'm I'm going to duplicate the dynamite material. And just gonna call it, assign it to the lighter. And we're gonna actually give it a different color. So let's do something like that. And there we go. Okay, so that, that looks great. And the next thing that I'm gonna do is I wanna add a little bit of a Basically, like something is holding them together. So to do that, I'm gonna create a new shape, and we're gonna experiment with this and see what looks better. And let's see, we could do definitely not a cone, uh, a pipe. I think a pipe will will work best. And let's actually move it. 90 degrees and then on Z we're gonna move it 90 degrees well actually yeah that's perfect because that's that's the angle that we need and we're gonna resize this resize it right there and right there I think this actually is gonna work perfect so I want to see how that's how many segments oh, let's actually go back to one and build it okay so I'm happy with that we can add more detail manually if we need to so it's actually going to that view already and resize this a tiny bit more And let maybe resize it on that axis. Resize it a little bit more there. We just want to give the illusion that it's getting hold by something, and I'm gonna actually scale it on Y. And let's go back a little bit there. Okay, so that that doesn't look right. Okay, so that looks way better. And we can always move some of these. Okay, so we can move that one too. It's a tiny bit. And I think I'm happy. We can move it up a tiny bit more. Awesome, so that looks much better. Resize it a little bit more. Cool. Right, so I think it's way too thick. So to do, let's let's do let's go back to our edge selection tool. Select. Oops. Let's do it one more time. And I'm actually gonna do the same thing on that edge, and then also this other edge. Okay. 
And I'm gonna go in. It's actually looking really good. All right. Let's go back to our object selection. For some reason, I don't like when there's a bevel on the edge. So let me go back a tiny bit. And I'm, I think we're going to have to deal with, with that. That's OK. Uh, let's undo. I'm actually, because I, I like the low poly style, so I'm actually going to leave it like that. I think it looks great like that. So let's see, maybe a little bit to the left. Tiny bit. Yeah. Yeah, that looks, I like how that looks. Okay, so what I want to do is I want I want to change the color of that. And we can, we can pretend that it's called tape. So I'm going to duplicate the lighter and I'm going to call this tape and we're going to assign that to the pipe and we're going to call this tape. All right. And if we go back, just looking at it, just to make sure that looks good. Okay, so let's actually grab each one of these lighters and assign it to move them down and give the other ones one as well. Just thinking if that's going to be too much. That's actually going to be OK. So I'll do the same thing with this one. And we can do the same thing with the last one. And looks like that looks great. OK, and let's rename them. And let's move on to be with their, their siblings. And let's see, so the last three we need to assign a material. So I'm going to assign a material to that, that one, and that one. So that's our first, our first game object. We're going to leave it right there, and then we'll resize it later. So the next one that I want to do is I want to do a bomb, kind of like an old school. Uh, if you play Bomberman, basically like the bombs in that game. So to do that, I'm going to go into New Shape, and we're going to select these. I'm not going to even attempt to say that, but we're going to select that. <laughs> so, And remember that I, I do like the low poly style, so I'm not going to add a lot of... You could go here and then add more detail if you like to. I'm actually going to leave it at 1. I think 1 looks great. And we're going to hit Build. And then close the shape tool. And I'm going to be make sure that I size them about the same. And right about, there we go. So that's perfect. Yeah, it looks perfect. So then I'm going to use one of these lighters. I'm going to duplicate them. And I'm going to bring him into place. And I think we want to scale. Yeah, we want to actually rotate back to zero. And I'm going to put the lighter right on the top. And we could actually expand this so that it looks, let's say, actually, that looks, that's, that's perfect. We don't need to go any higher than that. And let's make sure, let's go to order graphic view. Just align it. There we go. Go back, back to perspective. I'm going to move this out. And I'm actually collapse dynamite group and add a new group a new empty game object. And this one is going to be a bomb. And let's actually follow the same naming standards of bomb group. 
and then let's move this to and rename this guy and I think that's that's perfect okay and we have a few materials here so the lighter we already have the lighter and we can create a new material I'm gonna clone this tape and I'm gonna call this one bomb and we're gonna assign it to the icosphere I'm actually gonna call this bomb and the bomb material I want it to be a little bit lighter because it's really hard to tell say that we assign it oh it still has bomb so let's do it again there we go so that's our bomb uh, let's go back into that and, and give it a little bit more a little bit of red that's color that's perfect okay so that's basically our bomb uh, oh, looks like I lost the let's assign him one more time there we go okay so we have a bomb now the last one it's gonna be it's basically what I'm gonna do on the last one is, is I'm gonna duplicate the dynamite group and you'll see you'll see why I'm gonna do that and what I'm gonna do is I don't want him to be light basically by the lighters I want to have a monitor on top that controls that so I'm gonna delete all the lighter game objects and this guy Let's see if we can use this per, this guy. I think we can. We just need to size it a little bit. Size it a little bit more. And let's go a little bit wider. And let's go up. Yeah, I think that's, that's perfect. And what I'm gonna do on this one is I'm gonna select the that edge go through our edge loop and I'm going to go back down it's actually going to our graphic view so that we can size it correctly I want it to be flat because that's where the that's where the screen is going to resize, resize. and let's see so if I go back yeah and I'm going to I'm going to do the same thing on this one Let's go to edge loop and move this guy up something like that the only thing that I don't like is these spaces between see these these are not aligning correctly so I'm gonna select uh, all the vertices on the very bottom and let's go back to from view and do something like that that's perfect and the same thing on the ones on the bottom so let me actually hide this for now so we can select the the right vertices I'm gonna select those three go back to front view move it down a tiny bit I'm actually gonna do the ones on the bottom as well so if I can select them Oh, I need to go back to select that one, that one, and that one. Okay, go back to front view, bring it up a little bit. There we go. And I'm gonna just turn this one back on. And let's go back to perspective. Okay, so. We need to resize this and let's see I think the ones on the sides are just too large so I'm gonna go to face select those two faces on the sides and scale them back down a tiny bit I want to keep the same height as this side and yeah that's perfect okay let's actually move this a little bit there on the x-axis 
Okay, so that that's looking that's looking great. We do have some space on the bottom that it's unnecessary. So let's see, scale it back down a little bit. And there we go. So I'm happy with that. Except let's go up a little bit here. There we go. All right, so we're going to need a screen, and I'm going to create a new, basically a new cube, build cube, bring it back down, scale it, and scale it, and this one is going to serve as our little monitor, it's actually going to the z-axis. and something like that and let's go into our site go into our graphic okay so that's perfect and then we're going to need a button so i'm going to duplicate that make it a little bit smaller let's go into x something like that so it's going to be basically the button that we press to trigger the bomb here we're going to have a screen and I'm going to see let's move it down so it's going through a little bit there we go and I think the still is too big okay I am very happy with this so that's our screen our button basically the tape that it's wrapping around it and or dynamite so what I want to do now is I want to assign materials to these objects so one well, and also rename these so this is going to be or let's call it or dynamite trigger trigger group we can leave this one as dynamites because that's where they are this one is basically or or tape or or monitor around it we can leave it as it is and then this one is definitely going to be our, the monitor screen so let's actually call it screen and this one is going to be the trigger we can call this bomb trigger the bomb trigger is really going to be a black color so i'm actually going to just assign the tape to that we let's actually create a new color for the bomb trigger so i'm going to duplicate the bomb and this is going to be called bomb trigger and this guy we're going to assign it to that and i want i want a color that basically represents that stands out we can use basically a yellow for now we can change that later and then for the monitor i'm going to duplicate the tape and actually it's going to be called screen and we're going to assign that to the screen and this one is going to be the screen is going to be trans transparent which means that we're going to add some opacity to it so it's really hard to see but there is transparency on that object and then for the dynamites we just need to assign our dynamites to the dynamites game objects and let's see that one and one more and for some reason I don't like the screen color because it doesn't really stand out so it's really hard to I'm gonna give it a, a white color and there we go now we can now it does stand out and I think this bomb is way too big so I'm gonna resize both of them and let's actually all right and I lost for some reason when I undo it disconnects the material I don't know if it's a bug with Pro Builder but I know it, it's really annoying all right so that looks great looks perfect just looking at it just to make sure that 
everything looks as I intended, which looks like it does. It looks great. Uh, it's really hard to see the bone. Let's see if we can change. Maybe go to a little bit lighter. Okay, yeah, that looks way better. Okay. And let's size it up a little bit more. There we go. And that, that's honestly the process that I that I normally do. I I'm never happy with the with the model, so I go back and forth until until we get the right look and feel. So the next thing that we, we gotta do is we name everything correctly, but we also have to create prefabs. And the reason for that is because we're gonna have many of these game objects created. And if for some reason in one of the levels I, I want to you know dynamically create him and if I make a change to one I want him to replicate to all of them. So I'm gonna drag and drop each one of these to the prefabs folder. And it looks like by doing so we lost the materials. That's fine. And I'm gonna move this one to so for some reason we lost the interesting. Okay, so we're gonna go back and assign the materials just one more time. This won't take too long. And do that object. And okay, let's see. So we're missing just one. Okay, and also the lighters. There's probably an easier way to do this. For some reason, it keeps losing my dynamites. There, there is a, an option on their Pro Builder that I'm going to show you to pretty much the the attach anything that has the pro builder has which I think is what's causing the problem. So okay now let's go into our bomb go into our lighter and that's one of the reasons why naming things make a lot of sense and makes things easier because we, we know exactly which material to attach. And we're also gonna do the same thing with the dynamites. Okay, so that one and one more. Looks like it. And there we have it. So we have the prefabs created and we also have the materials in place. And so the other option that I was going to show you is I don't really need Pro Builder scripts associated with anything right now because it is causing problems. So I'm going to go into Pro Builder, Actions and basically a strip all Pro Builder scripts from the scene. It's gonna give you a warning, and I'm gonna say yes. And you can see that the Pro Builder script is not associated with it anymore. We could actually hit apply on every one of these objects just to make sure that our prefabs have the latest changes. And there we, there we go. So, let's see, let's move on back. And they're definitely way bigger than, than what we're going to need for the game. If we look at this game object, that's 0.3. And we said that the height, the max height, so if we were to change this to the max height, which is 0.7, that's basically how high we want to, we want to go based on our previous video. And these are definitely huge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna re I'm gonna resize all of them to say let's do point two for now, and I'm going to basically put them close to each other. So if you think about it, this uh, let's actually move this one, let's move this one back. And move it down. Okay, so let's go back to. Okay, so if you think about it, this is the height 
the you know if I'm six foot this is gonna be basically half of me so so I think the bomb size are, are pretty good right now we don't need to go any larger or smaller so and the last thing that I want to do in this video is I want to create the walls those, those ones are gonna be pretty simple so let's create a new shape and I don't know that I want to add too much detail to the walls as there is so I'm gonna create two types of walls so one of them is just gonna be a pretty simple wall that is completely flat and we're gonna be let's actually use our bombs to there we go to size them correctly I think We want each size to be exactly the same size. Okay, so I think that looks perfect. So I'm actually on the, let's see, definitely want it. For some reason, so this is the size of the because what, what I want it, what I don't want to happen is I don't want to have let's see actually that, that's good that's perfect and so we're pretty much gonna have let's make him a little bit bigger there we go right about I think that looks that looks fine. We can we can change the size as we as we continue on. So this is just going to be a, a regular wall, and by a regular wall, it's one that is doesn't have any windows. It doesn't have any curvature. So we can create a few types of walls. So this one, let's call it wall plane, or let's actually do a wall regular. Okay, so what I want to do on this one is I want to duplicate it and I'm going to move back a little bit and I'm going to give it a little bit of a curvature right in the middle. So to do that, I'm going to use the face, face mode and I'm going to select all the ones that are on the, on each size. There we go. And we're going to go into or face selection and we're going to subdivide faces so if you look at that we have a subdivision in the middle and I'm going to select the I'm going to move basically select all the different vertices that we have we created that are in the middle I'm going to select that one too and Lastly, that one. And we're gonna just give it a little bit of a curvature right there. And we're gonna do one more. And we're gonna do the exact same thing, but we're gonna go the other in the other direction. So I'm gonna select my my edge and then I'm gonna click on edge loop and we're gonna go to the other direction. Those are gonna be that's that wall and the last wall type that I want to do is I want to do a wall that has a window so let's go in here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select my the two fa faces on, on each side and we're gonna do extrude so I'm gonna change to scale and I'm gonna extrude it just one time and right about there try not to use the one on the middle otherwise it's gonna go inside and it's gonna create a really strange angle on this on each side so I think that's looking oops that's looking good The reason why I want to have windows is because on some of these I want to be able to place a bump right inside the window. 
So I think that looks perfect. And then we're gonna extrude actually by going going in right about there. I'm just thinking if because I want to I think that looks perfect right there I want to place a bump right there I can place that's not gonna fit or or big bomb so just thinking Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. That's perfect. Okay, so let's go back to... Okay, so that now the next question is what color are we gonna associate with this? I'm gonna give it a lighter gray just to have these ones basically the dynamize stand out. So I'm gonna go into materials and I'm actually gonna duplicate the screen and I'm gonna call this wall and definitely it's not going to be transparent, it's going to be opaque and then just remove the opacity there and I'm going to assign it to each one of these walls and you can tell that it already has a light, really light gray so let's then rename them so I'm going to, I'm going to call this one wall angle plus and then let's call this one angle minus let's actually add an underscore on this one and then on this one it's going to be wall with window and let's see so those look great and then we're going to move them into the prefabs folder. And also this one. And our window. And again, we lost the materials. That's fine. We can go in and assign them pretty quick. And since we're not using Pro Builder any longer here, we're going to go into Tools, Pro Builder, Actions, and a strip all Pro Builder scripts in the scene. I'm going to hit OK. And I'm actually going to move this back. And we can hide that cube. And if we look at what we have so far, is so we have basically all, all of our wall types created in this episode. We also have three different types of bombs that we're going to be using. Just a regular dynamite, a classic bomb, and then a bomb that is going to be triggered with this little monitor. So on the next episode, I'm going to start creating one level. We're basically going to prototype how our building is going to look like and also try to place some of these bombs in areas that we think are going to look great and once we have a prototype for a level then we can start thinking about level design and how we're going to be generating these levels dynamically all right guys so this is everything for this video i appreciate your time and again don't forget to subscribe don't forget to share thank you guys